Live from WQAD, News 8 at 5 starts One of my guys was working. He was cleaning up in the back parking lot and said that the wall is bulging now. Good evening, I'm John Diaz. Thank you for watching. What you just heard is a 911 call made this past Saturday afternoon, just over 24 hours before the Davenport building collapse. News H Josh Lamberty has been working to obtain this recording and he joins us in studio with more. Josh. Yeah, John, that call came in at about 245 after a contractor told a downtown worker about the building's risks. Here's more of that call. Someone is there working on it and told them to get out of the way because it's not looking good. Um, I, I don't know if the fire might want to stop by and look at it and see what's which wall, which wall is it? So it would be the southwest corner of the building, which is along the alleyway behind uh, the me and Billy area. So it's visible from the outside? Yes, yeah, it's an exterior wall. Okay, hang on one sec here. The, they did, they've been doing repair work on it, but my guy said he looked at it and there's actually someone working right now and they're trying to figure out if it, um, what's going on with it. So. According to documents from the Scott Emergency Communications Center, Davenport Engine 1 was dispatched to the building at 248 and three firefighters arrived about three minutes later. Call records show the firefighters left the scene at 255, meaning they were at the scene for about four minutes. It was less than 10 minutes from when the call came in to when firefighters left the scene. Now we have called and emailed the city's chief strategy officer about this specific call. We are waiting to hear back from her. If you would like to listen to the nearly three minute call, we have that on the top of our homepage right now at WQAD.com. John. Right, Josh, thank you. And we are finally seeing the moment leading up to the building collapse in downtown Davenport. Take a look at the security video. Initially, you see a piece of the building fall. Then two minutes later, another piece drops. The video stops before the entire collapse happens. Friends and family of those still missing watched as crews began digging through the rubble. Three people are still unaccounted for. Brandon Colvin, Ryan Hitchcock, and Daniel Prien are still missing. Davenport police saying they believe Colvin and Hitchcock are still at the building site. Police working with the VA to try to locate Preen.